Yes, sir, you already know what time it is. This unspoken culture. This is Professor X, my boy, Alfred the Butler. What's going on, man? Yes, sir. And we in here vibing, you know what I'm saying? And let's go ahead and get it started, man. Kawhi Leonard. What is, what is Kawhi Leonard's deal, you know what I'm saying? They just traded him away to the Toronto Raptors. Kawhi Leonard, you know, this guy at one point, he still is a franchise player with the San Antonio Spurs. He's a former champion, uh, finals MVP. And now you see how things have quickly changed, and he's just he's just gone and left, and now he's in Toronto. And you see uh, the Spurs, they traded away uh, Danny Green as well, and and they got uh, DeMar DeRozan and the backup center, Jacob. How do you pronounce that, Alfred? Uh, Patel. 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 Yeah. And a 2019 first-round pick. So the Raptors, you know, they're a better team this year. You know, they have a chance to go to the, the finals this year, potentially, but why would they take a chance on a player with, of Kawhi Leonard's caliber when he's already proven that in San Antonio, you know, he's not loyal. You know, he played, you know, he did good, but then when he got the injury, he had like 81 to play, and everybody was counting on him to be the the guy, you know, to to take over, you know, when Tim Duncan and Tony Parker was running the show. So, I don't know. I just, I just don't think Kawhi Leonard's ready to handle the spotlight yet. He's not that franchise player that we all thought because – If he was, he would have just at least stayed one year in San Antonio. And then if he wanted to go to L.A., he could have just kept that to himself and then, you know, try to play it out. But now he just looks bad and his reputation is almost, you know, sour at this point. What do you think? Yeah, I really think um, it's definitely a fall from grace. I remember Kawhi Leonard, quiet, shy, you know, when when he beat LeBron in the finals and won finals MVP. I think they thought he was the next up-and-coming star. I mean, two-time defensive player of the year. So, I mean, I honestly think that... Public perception of seeing him and see just the fact that he didn't want to play for the Spurs. Uh, they say his uncle's in his ear. He sounds very indecisive. That's I see reports saying yeah. that he's going to leave um, Toronto and go play at Brooklyn. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, he just seen and, – and the bad thing about it is we get on these athletes for, not, uh, for talking too much. He doesn't talk enough because he hasn't came out once and said what he wanted, what he – you know, all we hear is he get traded to Toronto – 30 minutes later, we get reports saying he don't even want to play in Toronto. So we don't get his side of the story ever. All we got is the Spurs organization pop saying that the doctors cleared him, teammates Tony Parker, teammates Manu uh, Ginobili, all saying he's healthy and he hasn't come out and said anything. And I can only put it with the comparison to Isaiah Thomas because, you know, they rushed him back for the playoffs. He had a hip injury. He poured his heart out. Heart, soul. His sister had died right before the playoff games. It was during the playoffs. He still played. Yeah. And he was on the hook for guaranteed $100 million. And he just right. signed with the Denver Nuggets for $2.5 million, the, the two million, the veteran yeah. minimum. So, I mean, when it comes to loyalty, man, are you loyal to you or are you loyal to the team? You know? Right. And yeah. I think um, on the flip side, DeMar DeRozan was traded and he wanted to be in. He wanted to be in Toronto. Yeah. And, and the now fact he that, want to be in San Antonio. Exactly. So. And the fact that he has spoke to the organization already and said, now it's conflicting reports because the GM mm-hmm. of Toronto said that he spoke to DeMar at the Summer League and it was confirmed that they were going to do what's best for the team. But DeMar mm-hmm. left the Summer League game clearly believing he wasn't going to get traded. Right. So, you know, when he got traded, man, I'm, of course anybody would be stunned, especially when you, you know, still have three years left on your deal. So, I mean, in my, in my personal opinion, I thought he was going to give him another kick at the can. I mean, they, defi- they, they fired Dwayne Casey. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just to give you, like I said, to give you some stats, man, LeBron, all time against the Raptors, are 47 and 11. 12 and 2 in the postseason. Yeah, we all see so, that last year. <laughs> like, you, like we said, man, I think they just couldn't get over the LeBron hump. The Spurs did, still did okay, though, at the end of the day. They still yeah. got DeMar DeRozan. They got Even a, they, wanted, you know, they want to be there. Pop will still get them coached right. Okay, well. And they'll be, you know, they'll be a good team. Ranking Kawhi Leonard at his very best, what is he um, in the NBA? I think when he was at his best, we was talking about him as possibly the second best player in the league. You know? Challenging Kevin Durant. Uh, challenging Kevin Durant. And then, you know, obviously we've seen Curry emerge. So I think, top five? I think, yeah. I think Kawhi, when he's at the top of his game, he's top okay. three, top five type player. DeMar DeRozan yeah. at his best. DeMar DeRozan at his best, he's not top you know, fifteen. I don't think he's top ten. I don't think he's top fifteen. Either. He may be top twenty player, 20. you know. But I can, but the thing with Popovich 
and his system, he can make anybody, you know, kind of gel in that system. Cause, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, they still were successful last year without Kawhi. Yeah, Leonard, absolutely. And, you know, I think, you know, I think they'll be just fine. Well, we got to do in the NBA, man. Like I said, um, you know, it's the heart of baseball season and NFL is approaching. But we don't really, you know – touch on stuff that we don't know you know baseball you know i watch it Mm -hmm. i'm an avid watcher but i don't really get into it into the playoffs i'm not gonna lie to you yankees red Sox. i watch the the big teams (laughs) so uh an interesting story actually came out man brewers pitcher josh hayden he's a 24 year old all-star actually made an all-star team actually came out with some controversies some tweets came out about seven years ago of him basically uh with racist overtone to say the least i mean white power you know, I hate gays, uh, you know, some stuff with the N-word, you know, in it. And uh, I heard it It was so it, – it was actually leaked before the All-Star game where his parents had to wear jerseys with no name on it just so they didn't get harassed in the stands. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when I, when I first saw the story, uh, you know, I didn't do a lot of research on it. So I was actually – you know, I kind of felt bad because, you know, if you remember that offensive lineman from Miami um, right before the draft started, a video came out of him smoking a yeah, bomb. Yeah, um, well, who, who? Laramie Tunzel. Yeah, Tunzel from yeah. Uh, yeah, Ole Miss. Yeah, Ole Miss. Yeah, yeah, and he was the top-rated offensive lineman. He wound up dropping, costing mm-hmm. them, you know, millions essentially mm-hmm. over that video. So I know we young, dumb, we stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, that's smoking weed. This right here is racist. Mm-hmm. You know, tweets, and you know, they said he was crying to his teammates. His teammates forgave him. Yada 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 yada. Now, what upsets me about this whole situation is. The very next game, he gets a standing ovation from the crowd. Now, don't get me wrong. He's at oh, wow. home. He's at home. But a standing ovation for what? Like, he the victim. What is what is that? I don't understand it. I mean. I don't understand it either. I, I actually see people on Twitter and social media defending. Oh, he's just a kid. I know my beliefs when I was 17 years old. I know exactly what I believed and didn't believe. And if I didn't like gays at 17, what's right. seven years going to change? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can right. understand if he did it when he was 12. No, mm-hmm. like I, you to me, you know, he only apologized or he was crying because he got caught. Right, in my exactly. in my opinion. So, mm-hmm. what's your thoughts on it, man? I mean, before I really start going in, and actually, just about the apology that he said, I I really didn't like what he said. Anyways, like he said, just, some of it was rap lyrics. That, that that's what I'm saying. And just and just this just, just a little snippet of it that I, that I caught. You know, after his racist and homophobic uh, tweets, you know. When he was a quote unquote child, you know, he said, as a child, I was immature. I'd said some things that are inexcusable. Um, and then he added, you know, there's no excuse for what was said, you know. And um, he said, you know, the tweets do not reflect his current beliefs. So just like you said, at 17, if I believe that was something at 27, yeah, OK, my reality of the world might change a little bit, but. That's not gonna really change who I am. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And just hearing that hearing it hearing this quote unquote apology, it just he never really took accountability for what he said. He never was said he was sorry for what he said, or sorry to any communities he may have offended. Absolutely. He was never really like dived That's really a great into point. it. That's a he great just point. all he did was really just was it was it was really came off as really selfish. And then just like I said, him calling himself a child. You know, we were yeah. all immature, just like you said. At, Absolutely. You know, 16, 17. Maybe. Once again, to go back to that you tussle know. store, he was smoking weed. Exactly. He didn't say anything about no. Exactly. You know, we, and, you know, what we do, you know, behind closed doors is, you know, what we do. But when you have, when you have hate built up in your heart is, you know, something racist and homophobic. It's obviously a, a, a bigger problem we have than just, you know, you being a pothead. I know? don't think he was contrite, honestly. I didn't feel I didn't feel like he's found any remorse in it. I think the yeah. only reason that he apologized because he got, got caught. Right. Honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, man. I, I've seen plenty of, you know, uh, athletes who may have copied and pasted, uh, mm-hmm. you know, a racist, not even racist, just the N word. You know, we, mm-hmm. we they like hip hop too, you know, yeah. music and everything like that. Um, please, can you tell me the song that said I hate gays? Like I'm trying to find it. Can you please tell me? Like, no, that's what that's how you feel. Mm-hmm. You know, right. and and we can address this back to the NFL, man, with these standing ovations. I mean, mm-hmm. like, come on, man. It's like the only reason that he is getting this treatment is because he's an all-star pitcher for a team that's on the cusp of the playoffs. Exactly. And NFL yeah. players get treated like trash. Why could they fungible? Right. That's exactly. why. You can kick them to the curve like mm-hmm. they like they they like they're a piece of meat. Like just, yeah. And and what I don't like, man, it got this it got this race overtone, man, because if this was 
anybody else, man, he literally, he literally took he one day crucified, off. Yeah. Cruci- crucified. He would be like endorsing right through the cold. Away and just imagine, if, just imagine if this was LeBron, and they had they had tweets about him when he oh, was seventeen. Don't get me started. <laughs> saying that uh, you know. He hates he uh, he hates white people. He wants to kill white people. Bad kill kids, gay bad people. Dad. I mean, and really? You think that would fly? No, heck no. So, I mean, it's just it's just sick. But I mean, you know, um, even after all that, you know, I won't really let anything that like that will get you know get to me. And you know, he's still I guess you know he's due to have his job. You know, still be a pitcher. And you know, I, I don't want anything to, you know hurt him from his career or anything. But you still have to look at people for who they are. We can't just hide, you know, hide that fact. You know what I'm saying? And, Absolutely. And there's no, you know, there's no dancing around it. You know, whether you were 17 and now, you know, I think now he's 25, you know, those beliefs are still in there. You know, it, ha- it hasn't changed, you know. So that's just my opinion on it. Yeah, no question. I don't know how he thinks now, you know, I can't really speak on how he thinks. This is just my opinion from what the tweets have come out. I mean, you can just tell how he really was. So that's hey, just I my can, opinion on it. I can so, end this conversation saying... Uh, I can go back at 17 and see some something I posted. Exactly. Guess mm-hmm. what? I still feel the same way. Right. So that's exactly. just me. I'm not like I said. I'm not judging mm-hmm. him. I don't want to lose his career. Everybody got to mm-hmm. make money, you know. Right. But I, it don't sit well with me that I see people uh, defending him and he actually mm-hmm. getting a standing ovation. Now, when he get on the road, we'll see. At home, <laughs> I guess. But you know, that's really that's pretty much, man. What it is. You got any closing thoughts, man? Any closing? I mean, just. I mean, it's just you know, shame on those Milwaukee Brewers fans. How can you cheer for a guy like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand if you do feel sorry for him and you say, you know, and, and you know, you do agree with some of the sentiments he was saying. But I mean, I mean it makes me day, mad because they're treating him like he's the victim. How that's can you be saying. the victim not, when you cause it yourself? When he's the one that caused the pain. Exactly. The pain. So exactly. If anything, man, I would have just, I would have just left it alone. Had no, you know, no applause or just not, just not even do nothing. You know why? Just and and just for them to applause and stand up. It it just shows yes. it just shows a gesture that oh we accept we accept what you did and it's like why are you you know why are we accepting this you know what I'm Absolutely. saying so it's just that's just my closing thoughts on it so hey man well that's pretty much it man that's what we got for today um you know man I th- honestly I think it's gonna be the last time we actually talk about opening with basketball mm-hmm. you know football season approaching man you already know football is there hey man Jaguars man they training camp open up man mm-hmm. to the public um you know Thursday on uh, July 26th through uh, August second. Okay. And then they ended with a practice uh, at six o'clock on Friday. That's all for people in Dubai all listening, man. Yes, sir. But uh, yeah, man, we definitely gonna uh, have a show, man, upcoming show where we are gonna have uh, predictions for the Jaguars, man. And we are gonna see exactly what we um, gonna see what they are gonna do play by play. Sixteen and zero. I don't know about no sixteen and zero. <laughs> Probably fifteen and one. We'll do fifteen and one. So, but man, but that's yeah, all we got, man, man. We can do all that, man. Yeah, play by play, and uh, yeah, we are gonna definitely break it down real good for you guys. So you guys enjoy it. So. Watch the training camp, man. Probably yeah. do it live from training camp. You know what I'm saying? Probably come back with some reports. See yeah. who looking good, and see who see who we do. coming in football shape. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We yeah. gonna be looking we at all tell that. How it really is. Get so. an interview from Rams or something like that. You know, probably get yeah, something. We do. You know, but, hey man, we appreciate the love, man. It's unspoken culture. Alfred the Butler, man. Got my main man, Professor X, with me. We out. We signing out, man.